the Yex triplets from Nevada only started attending school at the age of 8 due to their complex turbulent family situation. Even after attending school, the triplets only spoke to each other and was never seen hanging around or socializing with other kids. Hello, welcome to our channel, and this is the story of triplets with a tragic past that ended up surprising everyone. Before we go any further, please make sure to go smash that like button and do not forget to subscribe so that you can get notified when we upload another amazing video. To ensure that you will not be missing out on a single one of our uploads, press the bell notification button and turn on notifications for the YouTube app on your smartphone. Now, let's get right into the story. Cassidy, Haley, and Sierra Yex are 18-year-old triplets who live in Columbus, Ohio. Being triplets in itself is extraordinary and unusual, but the most intriguing detail about them was the story of their lives so far. Everyone has a childhood, and all of us experienced our childhood in various ways. These girls unfortunately had a childhood that can only be described as tragic and challenging. When the girls were only four months old, they lost their beloved mother, and following that, their father was imprisoned for a crime they don't know of, and the triplets moved in with their grandmother. As the oldest sibling, Cassidy commented on a local news program the triplets were not able to attend school till they were eight years old. That was when their father was released from the prison and moved the girls to Cleveland with him. Cassidy stated to us how it was not a happy family reunion situation that proceeded at the household, and that their father would leave them to figure everything out on their own, and they were forced to start to learn to do things on their own. The girls were only eight years old, and they were doing all the cooking and cleaning. She said she remembered the first time they tried to cook. I remember standing on a stool so that I was tall enough to see over the stove and making ourselves eggs and toast. It didn't taste good, obviously, but it was okay for us to eat, and being eight years old, we couldn't really care much about it. Cassidy also stated that they didn't know the reason for the absence and that they got used to it as the periods of where he was missing went from a few hours to a few days to a week and a few months at a time. They got used to not having their father around and they started cooking and cleaning on their own. Haley told us that they were able to cook a decent dinner with steak, mashed potatoes and veggies when they were around 12 years old. One day, when the sisters were 13 years old, their father was out as usual, and at around 5 in the morning, they heard men swearing outside their house, and windows of the front porch were suddenly broken, and they heard gunshots. There were three bullets shot, and there were three of us inside the house. Kinda suspicious, yeah? Sierra recalled, and she told us that they decided the following morning to leave their father's not so tender care. This time, they were taken in by their other set of grandparents, residing elsewhere in the same city. But even that solution proved far from ideal. Although they let us live with them, we weren't really treated like we were a part of their family. Like, they never really gave us much food. They would still make us cook for ourselves and didn't give us any proper toiletries and since all three of us were girls, we had to find a way to fend off for ourselves," said Sierra to us. So, the girls decided to find part-time jobs. All three of them found part-time jobs at an Elbertston's grocery store and as babysitters, and they were soon juggling shifts and school and slowly making a little amount of money. That was enough to have them get by. The resilient triplets worked hard, and some of the sisters had shifts that ended late, sometimes even late evenings. They had no mode of transportation besides walking from their grandparents' place to school and then walking after school to the grocery shop and after a long, tiring shift, walking back home. Not only were the triplets working really hard, but they also putting themselves in potential danger. They were always following the streetlights and always glancing behind their shoulders. 
to be in a position that vulnerable just to survive in the ripe age that they were in at the time is a depressing thought, but such is the reality of the X twins situation. Despite these tremendous obstacles, the three sisters focused on their jobs and schoolwork and they never gave up. They relied on each other for support and despite all the odds, they graduated successfully from Columbus Valley High School in the summer of 2016. What is more, that they want to pursue their education further and pursue amazing careers. Cassidy wants to study medicine, Sierra is looking into teaching, and Haley is considering in working for social services. The inspirational triplets didn't just get into Columbus University, they got accepted into campus with full scholarships, all to help them pursue their aspirations. All three sisters graduated with a 4.2 GDP and were recognized by many social workers and academic professionals for their bright personalities and hardworking wit. These kids are exceptionally talented, and with God's grace, they shall achieve more and become exceptional individuals in our community and society," stated Andrea Garcia, a social worker at Columbus Valley High School, stated, for our camera. These three girls together are the definition of adversity rising above any challenge, any obstacle thrown their way, and still wanting to look at success," said Valley High Counselor Leon Wright. The sisters, Sierra, Cassidy, and Haley, are three miracles that dawned upon society and that they are an inspiration to everyone. The school's counselor, Leon Roy, stated that these three kids are pillars of inspiration. Despite having faced many challenges, and extreme situations in life, they never gave up, nor did they choose the wrong path. Not only did the triplets win the admiration of their school staff and peers, but they also received the attention of the media. Channel 6's primetime hostess, Mariah Jones, herself attended the three sisters' graduation ceremony and presented them with a college fund scholarship that was sponsored by the Channel 6 Media Corporation, and they also received a cash donation worth $5,000 from a program initiated by the Channel 6 CSR committee. The school staff, knowing that they did not have any means of transportation, got together with Nissan Motors and Fox 5 Surprise Squad in order to give the three sisters three brand new Nissan cars as a graduation gift. Alongside the cars, they also received a year's worth of maintenance and registration fees taken cared for as well as a year's worth of free fuel until the sisters can find themselves in a position to sustain themselves. With this newfound set of generous donations, they were more determined than ever that they can climb over any obstacle that comes their way. The kids were so humbled by this that they took it as a responsibility to reach out and show their gratitude to all the kind souls that had their faith in them. So Sierra took it up to write a post in her Facebook wall, thanking and respecting everyone for their kindness and faith. Cassidy took the opportunity to write an inspirational message to everyone who is struggling with problems that life has thrown at them. She stated, There is so much more to life than the problems we face today, so don't give up and keep on marching forward. The Yex sisters are an inspiration to everyone who feels like they are going through a rough patch in their lives. The three sisters have now happily moved into their college dorms and still keep inspiring everyone around them. If there is anything we can learn from this story, it is that we should always strive to look for the light on the other end of the tunnel when times get hard. Did you like this story? For more inspirational stories like this, subscribe to our channel and press that bell button to get an update every single time we upload a new video. Make sure to like this video and share it with somebody. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.